Hey guys, Comet Neowise is up right now. That's uh, C-2020 F3 uh, for the official name for it. But uh, it's actually going to be up in the northwest now, just uh, a little bit after sunset here uh, at my latitude. Um, 10 to 20 degrees above the horizon at the, the best time. Uh, so we're going to just try and, and go get some pictures of that while, while it's still in the solar system effectively. So I will see y'all on site. Hey guys, so we're out here in the normal spot. Uh, I actually have a ton of equipment here. I've got my normal Celestron telescope. I don't know if you can see. Normal Celestron telescope. There we go. Uh, I've got a mead that I'm testing out, and I'm also gonna just uh, try some stuff. Well, the, the telescope for the mead, um, we're gonna use my phone camera on that, and we're also gonna use just regular camera for wide field and try and get what we can of the comet. So it's actually going to be uh, right over that way approximately. Um, and it's gonna be, the availabilities on, uh, on the comet is gonna be pretty limited. Uh, it's, it should be starting to dim now. So if you wanna go and image this yourself or just go and look at it, because you should be able to see it with your eyes. Uh, if you wanna do that, you kinda need to do it probably within a week or so. So uh, yeah, good luck. I'll uh, check back in whenever the sun goes down. Okay, it is now super, super dark, and you cannot see that at all. But you can see the, uh, that's what it looks like in the image. And you can actually see it in real time, visible to the eye. So, that's pretty neat. We're having all the DSLRs going. Um, the Mead's having a little bit of trouble though, so we'll see if we can work that out, but it's going pretty good. Alright, so this is a single 15 second exposure through the telescope, uh, which is the Celestron 130 SLT, which is 650 millimeters uh, focal length. So that's actually pretty zoomed in. You can see that the, the core is actually a little bit green, and you'll see that's pretty common for a bunch of the comets that you see uh, in a bunch of images. The tail moves over to the right, and this is actually just... A small portion of the tail but if we go over to the full right here the stacked version with this is approximately 10 minutes of aggregate time you can see the tail sort of starting to form and if you look at the spot just at the top of the tail it actually starts to branch off a little bit and that's much more visible in our um, just straight up DSLR with a Canon lens I believe it was approximately 50 millimeter focal length. Um, you can see that much better. There's actually a little part that comes off of the tail that's actually a sort of a blue color. Uh, so that's super neat. With the stacked form of this one right here, you can see this way better. I, I think I like this quite a bit more than the telescope one, given that you have the, the full tail and that little separation, which is really, really cool. Unfortunately, I never really got the mead to work with the setup that I was trying to, so instead, I just took a picture with my smartphone. It's a Galaxy S9 Plus, so I turned it to pro mode and took a 10 second exposure. And this is what we got, so not that hard to, to image. This is more in line with what it sort of looks like, uh, just to the eye. But it's pretty accessible for imaging. You can just use a smartphone since it's so bright. Uh, you don't necessarily need a DSLR for this kind of stuff. Yeah, so this was a really neat thing to shoot and just kind of look at. Uh, if you get out there pretty quick, you can still see it. Again, there's that shorter window now, but you can do it in the afternoon instead of getting up super, super early for it. So I would recommend y'all do that if y'all have the opportunity. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.